Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series. This is Snooker Nation Championship and well yeah, uh it's it's literally just dropped on the the Steam store a couple of days ago and I've just noticed it uh, 3 pound 50 I think it is. Uh, I'm Joe if you're new around here and uh we're going to do a bit of a series on this. Obviously it's in early access. Uh I'm just going to fiddle with the the volume a little bit. Uh no, it should be fine actually. Uh, thinking about it, so uh, I'm using my PS4 controller on this. Uh, they use the World Snooker Championship um, actual um, engine for this uh, from 2011. So uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, we'll we'll do championship, I guess. Um, we'll do a new career. I was just fiddling around with it before. So uh, we'll do standard, hard, and see what we can do. Let's get into it. So uh, there's Michael Baker there, Zach Cooper, uh, Simon Mazrani, uh, Digsy Jung, pff, Tony Fish, and Adam McAlpine. So let's get into the qualifier then. I am a big snooker fan, by the way. Uh, so this should be good, hopefully. Well, he's broke off in the deciding frame and a pretty good break off at that. Uh, he'll be <laughs> he'll be pretty pleased with that. That that's uh that sounds like Paul Collier actually, who refereed the World Championship Final. A little bit thin on that one. But uh, it'll do. Alright, I haven't heard any noises, Paul. Uh, what a pot that is. And uh, the actual referee's voice for this is the one off World Snooker Championship 2004. So if you're old enough to remember that, you'll, you'll recognise the voice. Uh, but yeah, this is in early ac uh, early access or beta development, you might want to call it, or even alpha development. Um, but uh, from what I understand, they do have uh, quite a few uh, plans for this game, uh, and they want full commentary uh, added to the game, and obviously. Um, I'm just going to change the the rules, uh, not the rules, not that. I want um, settings. Oh, it's not that either. It's aim, and I want to change because that was just ridiculous. Um, oh. Uh, I don't see it on here. Maybe we'll just have to start again, actually. Because there's no way I'm going to win with no aim and aid. And that, that seemed to be the case there. Um, so. Uh, find another career. Nope. Uh, so we'll set that on extended. Hard. That's fine this time. Uh, yep. That's fine. So we'll play now. Oh, what? Oh, well, we're going to have to go with this one then. Uh, not this one, this one. <laughs> yep, there you go. And Barney Marshall. Here we go, let's get into things. Right. Uh, so I'll break off. Uh, so what was I talking about? Yeah, big plans. Hopefully they can get licensed. Uh, the game looks good. I don't like that Snooker Nation thing all over the, the middle of the table, but no, I'm pretty much, you know get over that. Uh, I'm using my Elgato to record this uh, so hopefully the quality is good. I tried using the Windows 10 recording for, oh, what a terrible shot that is, recording facility but unfortunately uh, I couldn't do that. Um, let's try and get the brown here. Uh, so uh, yeah there, there we go. There's the overhead, so I'm going to try and be like Alan the Angles, McManus here. Uh, it's trying to give us a hint here, but I don't think I need it. 
Personally, come on. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And, um... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to this. I haven't played a new snooker game since 2011, and it was god awful. And yeah, they're using the same, um, the same uh, engine as they did for WSC uh, 2011. But you know, uh, hopefully they can do a better job. Oh, that was close. But uh, we'll see how it goes this series. Obviously, if you're a snooker fan. Uh, you'll probably like this. Uh, I'm a huge, huge snooker fan. The World Championships just finished. Obviously, Mark Selby win the second world title. But, uh, yeah, this is exactly what I've been waiting for, a new snooker game. But hopefully it, it, it does get licensed. And uh, they're hoping to, to get the full version out within a year. So, um, hopefully, uh, us as a channel can be a big part of that. Uh, I haven't even seen any gameplay on YouTube. Um, so, you know, we'll see if if we've got any fellow snooker lovers and if we can build a bit of a community, that would be nice. Um, but yeah, this guy, what's his name? Uh, a Sorapong Kitsawan. I'm pretty sure he was called Barney Marshall before, wasn't he? I don't know. Maybe I'm just making things up. I have no idea. But, um... Yeah, where did the name Barney Marshall come from? If it wasn't this game. That is the question. Right, so we'll play a stun shot here. Uh, I don't want to play it that hard. But um, we might have to aim a bit low on the cue ball here, actually. Yeah, we're going to have to screw up for ball colour. And that looks a little bit overhit. Hmm... Um, Oh, we're on the blue. That's a bit of uh, a bonus. Now, if we play with a bit of reverse side here, so uh, if I, yeah, so I'm going to play with bottom and right hand side, and that should spin up towards these reds like that. And there you go. So a bit of a tip for you: reverse side will get you back up the table if you're in that situation. There. Uh, Obviously, I, I play snooker in real life. Yeah, an okay standard, I guess. Top breaker, 49. Um, but I do play quite regularly. But obviously, since I've got exams coming up, uh, I won't be playing that much uh, in the next you know, sort of few weeks. But uh, obviously, I try to play as much as I can. I hope that pink passes into the opposite middle. I uh, didn't actually check that. I don't think it does. Oh, it's tight, but we're gonna I'm gonna play the blue just to be safe. Uh, so, ah, good pot. Played it with an element of safety, but uh, we should be able to stun this red in and get onto the pink. It is very difficult to cut the control system actually because you have to judge your power. And you spin before you've even made the shot. You see I didn't get enough stun on that. So I'm going to have to go round the table. Uh, top and left hand side. It's probably the order of the day. But this is going to be a tough shot. And there you go. I, well it might be end of break. But I think we have a shot to nothing here. Which we'll be able to take on. Maybe even bring the black into play, play here. If we play with a little bit of back spin. You see, the harder you play these, the harder they become. If we can just flick that black into a potable position, it'll be good. Mm, didn't quite manage it. I mean, we've got the black to the corner, but this is going to be rather difficult. It's a bit of a silly shot to take on, but I don't think we've got any other choice. So we take it on, and we get it. It was a good pot. Not bad for a first try at this, is it? Um, if we can possibly get a sentry break in my first match, that would be great. Um, yeah, play with a bit of right hand side here. Just try and get out onto the pink. Whoops. 
Oh dear, a bit too much right hand side there. And we'll put the blue out of commission, so another tough pinky head. Hard work this break. Haven't quite got the pace of the table yet. But we'll bring the black into play here. There we go. Hopefully that passes. Let's just have a quick check of that. Uh, oh, I don't think I can get there. Uh, does that black pass? I think it does. Right, so I'm going to just drop this in. Dead weight. Like that, and worse ways, we've got the, the pink into the middle, but I think that goes. Um, let's see. That's a decent shot. I'm going to get my first 50 break by the looks of things. Uh, so if we play it a little bit soft, uh, we should be able to get onto the pink. Mm, bit of a bad flick that. Oh, might have to play the green uh, around the table. So we'll get into the overhead shot. Uh, bottom and left hand side. Oh, I've flicked it forward accidentally. Ah, uh, I'll see. We're not quite safe yet in the frame, but he's made an absolute meal of that, and we have a bit of a chance here. Frame ball. Oh, is he on nineteen? I can't remember. Oh dear! What a miss! What a miss! I just took my eye off that. I don't know what he's doing playing that shot there. Why didn't he play the plant? So I don't think the AI is completely optimised here. But yeah, good shot. And uh, we're f the 33 ahead, 51 on the, t well, 43 on the table. So uh, does that black go? It does, but the in-offs a slight problem here. As you can see, if I play it like that, it's going to go straight into the middle. So we're going to have to play. With a bit of bottom here, and that makes it black more difficult, but we played it well. We're now perfect on, on this plant. We should be looking to clear the table here, but this is the, the shot I thought the AI would have played before. Just a nice little plant. And, uh, well, yeah, we're, we're perfect on the black, and well, we've already won the frame, so... Oh dear, Mr. Black though. But is he going to concede? He has conceded the frame and that is that. We've won the first match of the series and uh, yeah, not too bad. Um, obviously we've qualified for the match. I don't know what's in the archive. Um, okay, I don't know what that is. Uh, we can ask for a rematch. No kicks uh, apparently in the and that I didn't know they'd added that in. Um unless that, that they don't mean the kicks as in we what we think kicks are. But uh yeah, that seems to be that. Uh hold on, what's what's this? Deck owls. Um What on earth is this? Unless these are what's on the snooker table, of course. Um, I don't really know, to be honest with you. Really don't know. Uh, I'll have a look at those. Um, what are the celebrations then? Uh, no idea. Oh, frames. Can we have 35? Come on, please have... Oh, we can only go up to 25, unfortunately. Um, but that's certainly something for the future. Um, oh, there's the Open Championship Snooker Lounge, Snooker Hall. That's where I spend my Saturdays. But, uh, yeah, that seems to be about that. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode of Snooker Nation Championship. Hopefully, uh, the next episode will be out fairly soon. But I do have exams uh, in the near future, so... Please understand if they're not as frequent as you want them to be. But if you've enjoyed, please leave a like down below. You don't have to, of course, but it'll mean a lot for me and for the channel. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.